What's going on guys? It's your family, the family dream, and we back again with another updated hair video for the babies, okay? Because I seen in the comments you guys wanted a updated video from the first one that I did where Alani was experiencing the baby bald spot that most babies have. So we're gonna be using the mango and lime Jamaican castor oil, the Cantu for Kids um, shampoo and conditioner, and the Do Grow. But this time we're gonna be using the Mega Long. So if you see, Alani's hair have grown in almost 100%. She don't have that bald spot like she did anymore, and it's due to the Sulfur 8, the Medicated Grease, the Do Grow, and um, really using the rubber bands to pull the hair. And when you take them out, you don't just pop them out. You cut them so that, it, you know, the child is not losing hair. But she gets her hair done, like, every week or so. Every two, one to two weeks because you don't want to do her hair too much. And sometimes the dirt in the hair actually helps it to grow. So, um, right now, you see me. I'm washing her hair. And Alani is really good about getting her hair done. I'm so blessed to have a child that I hope she stay like this because she doesn't give me problems when I'm doing her hair. So I'm just washing it because she had a hairstyle in that she had for like a little over a week and her hair was really dirty. Sometimes the rubber bands makes the hair dirty like around where the rubber band is. So I'm washing it really good. Then I love to condition it and when I condition it I always comb it through to kind of get the tangles out, detangle it so that once I do start her hair it's not hard to comb through. So guys, if you see the thumbnail, like she doesn't have that ball spot anymore. So you guys definitely want to go out and get these products, okay? This is my first time trying can too, but usually I use Shea Moisture um, Mango Shampoo for her, and it's really good, mango and carrot. But can too is also really good, okay? It doesn't have any sulfates, parabens, or mineral oils, so it's not harsh on the hair. And it's really good for natural kids, natural curly kids, because my, my daughter has very curly, coily hair, and her curls are activated by water and moisture. So as you can see, I am combing it through, just getting the tangles out, and um, just working the conditioner through from the root to the tips so that her full head of hair is conditioned. So like I said, guys, she doesn't have the baby ball spot anymore. So you want to go out and get these products. All these products can be found in Walmart. The Do Grow um, Grease, the Sulfur Medicated Grease, um, the Mango Lime Jamaican Castor Oil, all of that stuff can be found in Walmart. So guys, as you know, when you're doing your child's hair, you need to keep them occupied. So she needed her some chips and fruit snacks and some juice. <laughs> so I'm just combing it through. And um, you see it, no more ball spot. It's gone. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. My baby hair is growing so much. Like, my baby hair is growing so much. I need to put some pictures in here from her small fro because my baby fro is growing. So what I'm doing is taking the Sulfur 8 and the Do Grow, and that's the mega long Do Grow. It's green. Um, I put a little bit on my hand usually, and I always say, hi, Lonnie. I always end up working the um, part in the hair and just kind of putting the grease through her hair and her scalp and stuff. Um, and I like to do this before I start the hairstyle. Um, and so I always start from the back and then work my way up to the front and the sides. carve out a circle in the middle of her hair because the style that I'm gonna do is gonna be like a ponytail uh, a, a ponytail is going upward but I don't I like to leave out a little bit of hair so it could create that fullness for the ponytail at the top and then once I'm finished with the ponytails going up I'm gonna you know make that middle part a lot more curly with the custard but I always carve out a circle so that the full the ponytail can be more full and so then you just want to section out the hair 
the back first and then the sides and you want to do ponytails that connect so if you don't feel comfortable using rubber bands that's okay you could definitely use soft scrunchies or like the, the softer plastic rubber bands but I don't mind because I know how to take them out and they have been doing really good on Alani's hair so you just want to make two ponytails and I, I started off doing the wrong one first I was about to do the top ponytail first but then I realized you have to connect them oh yeah and I use a toothbrush to kind of a soft toothbrush because you know they have soft medium and hard toothbrushes I use a soft toothbrush in order to brush her hair because some brushes can be a little bit harsh for the baby's scalp um, in their head but I'm using the rubber band and you want to just do the um Okay, let me wait for me to realize that I'm doing it wrong. Okay, I realize now. <laughs> so now I'm just taking out the rubber band. Because I'm like, what, girl? You got to do the bottom ponytail. Stop, mama. You got to do the bottom ponytail first. So you want to do the bottom ponytail first. Brush it, slick it. You want to do the bottom ponytail. And guys, when you're doing the rubber band, I, you know, go around with the rubber band as many times as I think is not too tight for Alani. Um, I don't like doing her hair tight if you start to see the scalp like bubbling up or like turning red That means the rubber bands are too tight. So I just kind of you know go around a couple times and So then you want to do like a little twist on it And then after you do the little twist You're just gonna go ahead and connect it up to the ponytail and you're just gonna keep doing this all over the head all over the head you do one ponytail do a little twist and then connect it to the top ponytail. One ponytail, do a little twist and connect it to the top ponytail. As you can see, um, I did, you know, the ponytails all over. I didn't want to bore you guys, so I'm, I'm round to the end. So I'm doing the same thing. Alani wants to do her voiceover, but um, you just do one ponytail, connect it to the next, and then um, once you get done, we will move forward. So now I'm taking the curly custard that I have by Mix Kids and I'm also using putting some of the Cantu custard inside the Mix Kids custard because I just want to see how they both work. 
and you just kind of take your finger and take off sections and just roll the hair around your finger to make a curl or a coil and you're gonna see me do this repeatedly all over and then I will go ahead and add the cuteness some rubber bit I mean some um, barrettes and she's gonna be cute So here is where I am adding the barrettes all in a circle and we are getting to the end of this style. So guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the thumbs up on this video. Lonnie, say thumbs up. Thumbs up. Hit the thumbs up on this video. Drop us a comment down below. Let us know if you get any of the products and how they work for you guys. And we will see you guys in the next video. Oh yeah guys, I did go back in with the mango and lime Jamaican castor oil and I just put them in her parts because it really helps with the growth. So after the hairstyle is complete, you guys can go back with any grease of your choice, but I'm, you know, using the castor oil and I'm just putting it in the parts. Gosh, that came out so cute yellow is my favorite color it matches with Delani's skin so perfectly I love yellows and oranges on her so that's why I always choose to use the yellow rubber bands we're running out of the yellow rubber bands I need to get another pack but um the hairstyle came out really cute guys so again make sure you subscribe to the channel hit the thumbs up on this video drop us a comment down below and the family will be back in the next video see you